nice. At first, I would like to convey my heartfelt invitation to our uh, beloved guest, Dr. Chaitanya. My hearty reverences to all the well wishes of our institute and good wishes to my students. Pranavi, thank you very much for your uh, sweet and uh, nice welcoming words. So, in fact, as a school going sir. child, undertaking this activity is a good thing. Surely, your enthusiasm and initiative pave your path for your great success. So, may God bless you, Pranavi. Fine. And at the same time, I would like thank to thank you, Amini Anandrao for her melodious rendering. Actually, Madam belongs to 198th batch from our RK Apex Institute of English. Since then, she has never failed to begin any session with her melodious rendering. So whenever I ask her without saying no, he extends her cooperation. So, I mean, she might be having any problems or circumstances might not permit her. But at any situation, he never says no and of course extends her cooperation. Madam, thank you very much for your, I mean, unending encouragement and cooperation. Thank you, Amini Anandrao. Fine. Welcome. And friends, once you see our uh, today's guest, Dr. Chaitanya Garu, see, I have been known him uh, for many years. I can say more than uh, 15 to 20 years. Last time, actually, we had Madam Goti Lalita Shekhar as a guest of our. So, Lalita Shekhar, Madam's uh, elder son, Sri Chaitanya Garu. Actually, whenever I see him, I feel wonder how he is able to be cool, calm, complacent, pleasant all the time. So there in interaction, you come to know how these qualities he acquired. And here, friends, and at the same time today, I mean, this uh, 12th guest hour, we find the day, September 5th, I mean, Teacher's Day. So I to take a little bit time for remembering my teachers. One minute. Just I would like to take, uh, I mean, a few minutes to recollect the memories I had with my beloved teachers. And here, teachers means friends, uh, not just even academic, even from other walks of life also, you can see teachers. Particularly here, I would like to place before you four of my best gurus whom I have come across in my life. Then the first one, Actually, he is uh, an unknown person, or you can say stranger. Frankly speaking, I don't know his name. I don't remember his face. Or uh, I'm unaware of his whereabouts. And of course, let me tell you a, a bit deeper into the incident. Friends, when I was a boy of 10 years old, along with my parents, I went to Molopadu, I mean, a small village, nearly 33 kilometers from Vijayawada. And at the time, when I was a boy of 10 years old, when I was uh, playing along with my siblings, neighboring uh, children, and my cousins, I was making a lot of noise. And of course, I was fighting with one or the other. Then my mother came and uh, scolded me. Actually, I was deeply hurt. Then I decided to leave home. <laughs> so I came onto the, I mean, uh, highway. And from there, I was walking towards Vijayawada. Actually, I bent down my head and I was thinking, why my mother scolded me? I did not have any mistake. I mean, for no reason, she scolded me. Just simply, I bent down and of course, I had so much internal chatting and I was moving. Then exactly opposite side, one uh, vehicle, I mean, one lorry was coming with the full speed. When it is about to hit me, so I don't know, somewhere else came on the earth, one hand came and pulled me back. And of course, it, uh, the hand caught hold of my shoulder and pulled me back. Then in front of me, there was one elderly person. Then he looked into my eyes and said, where are you going? Then I said, I mean, I got angry with my mother. She scolded me. So I thought of leaving home. Then he said, see, does your mother scold you every day? Then I said, no. See, for one scolding, yes, yes, you decided to leave home. See. Surely, for the benefit of your welfare only, she might have scolded you. You should not do like this. Okay? And immediately, just he kept a coin into my hand. I mean, it might be around 10 rupees, I mean, 10 paisa, 20 paisa. I did not know the exact value that time. 
and of course i looked into the coin and he said okay take this it's yours only okay then go back to your home go back go back then i looked into the eyes he said go back then actually he stood like a statue and he was showing his finger go go then of course i moved a little bit distance towards my home and i looked back and still he was like a statue and showing finger go then i thought he would never leave me then i took that uh, 10 or 20 paise coin and of course i was walking towards my home in the meantime there at uh, home my mother was searching for me so out of anxiety she sent all her uh, brothers i mean my uncles and other people different directions when i reached the outskirts of molapadu then none of my uncles happened to see me and of course rushed to me and took me to my mother i thought my mother would uh, thrash me and of course she would punish me black and blue but she did not utter even a word but i could see she was literally crying and she hugged me and of course did not sing any word he let me play with others and said go then when i recollect this incident sometimes you will find uh, goosebumps see once i recollect this incident the unknown person who helped me is not just mere help he guided me and of course he tried he best to direct my thought process and at the same time as a result i could get back home so that was the first one i could see a guru probably i remember in my mindset so that uh, left an indelible mark on my mind and coming to second one my father i mean uh, my father i mean is the native of this uh, tenali dis tenali generally we call tenali andhra paris so for summer holidays or whenever we find sankranti holidays we would go to tenali and stay with my grandparents and all you see when i remember this tenali word uh, i find the beautiful location of my grandparents house with the i mean five portions i mean two portions my grandfather and uncle they would live and all the three were given to for rental basis in front of house there was a full vacant land i would play i would play marbles and uh, hide and seek game and there was one big tree called uh, goa tree i would climb it and uh, of course have these uh, goas like this nice atmosphere so i had many occurrences going to that place but when i was studying 6th class then the house was sold out then one fine day my father went to along with the family went to tenali and there actually my uncle i mean generally we say my brothers my father's brother baba in english we call uncle only then my uncle and uh, my grandmother they used to run on chit fund business and there they got huge losses so they had to sell this land sell this house my fa my grandfather and uh, other well wishers they requested my father not to keep sign because to sell that my father i mean there were two brothers i mean uncle and my father my father had to put his signature they said not to keep that even though i was a child i was keen observing all the things so they were uh, calling my father and counseling him don't do that don't do that my father said no 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 he was in deep debts and difficulties no let it be then he simply kept his signature yeah. see why i tell all the situation here now my dear friends once i talk to my students sometimes they come to know their their role models are some stars like uh, power star mega star superstar or sachin or dhoni so i don't condemn actually taking them as their role models but but at the same time you should not forget the real role models there at home once you look deeper into the lives of your mother father brother sister you could find live examples in them only so sometimes i feel that uh, some of our students are missing the real role models there at home itself so once i look at my father i find uh, hard working nature and of course his uh, devotion and his honesty his high kind heartedness all these uh, qualities left an indelible mark on my mind again of course i could say he is my second guru or second master and the third one there in the academic area in the academic area actually right from childhood i was blessed to have many good teachers so there in childhood there in a village called vinukonda i had a pal master and nancharama teacher they had uh, their uh, i mean elementary school of education taught us very well when i came to school i could recollect a number of teachers like krishna rao sir uh, avadani master hindi sir see i am able to speak hindi well means just because of hindi master and uh, prabhakar sir science master like that they taught us very well and at the same time they shared 
the essence of their uh, life's experience. But one teacher who closely comes to my heart and always stays along with me in my ups and downs, and at the same time, so he is a part of my continuous and sustainable growth. He is Sri K N Agshlo sir. Then I underwent my training. This is what I am teaching you English here today. The same soft skills training I underwent there in uh, Apex Institute of English Guntur, and there my director sir Sri K N Agshlo sir. Actually, he worked in Indian Air Force. So with the roots and uh, a lot of dedication and uh, discipline, he started this uh, Apex Institute of English in Guntur. Then I happened to be the student there in the month of April in 1999. So as a student, then I enjoyed his teaching style. But immediately when I became the faculty, I could see very closer. I mean uh, his uh, dedication and uh, his uh, craving nature for uh, helping the students and all. See when I was working there for almost six years, I worked there. I became the shadow of my director sir. our classes would end up by afternoon 1 or 130 but he would stay with the students i mean giving guidance till 145 2 or sometimes it went up to 230 also and there at night time so our classes would continue till 830 or 845 of 9 but he would talking with the people i mean he would talk to the people till 10 or 10 like this for all these incidents i stayed along with him then i could come to know how he is instrumental in uh, developing the skills and of course giving career guidance to these people then i can say one uh, bharat so working as a medical executive for entire state andhra pradesh here today and one uh, karunakar r1 balu r1 ramesh they are like so many people so while working along with him closely then i learned not only these uh, teaching skills but also his dedication discipline and uh, en- giving encouragement to the students that that all helped me a lot so in the year 2005 or uh, end of the five i took his blessings and of course in pursuit of my own dreams then i went to visakhapatnam actually i i mean i am i was and i am mad after technology so there in the year 2005 itself then i wanted to combine this uh, english computers and of course tv and lcd projector into my classroom so for the sake of doing these experiments of course i wanted to do on my own so i went to visakhapatnam with his blessings and within one year i could get all the things then i started making uh, beautiful ppts so here in this pandemic years once i am able to take uh, classes they are online without taking uh, a piece of chalk or marker it's just possible because of uh, these 15 years of hard work so which i made many experiments in making ppts and getting into the classroom but one thing my dear friends for all this 15 years what all i made experiments and the ppts they are like uh, i can say i can compare with like this first floor second floor third floor like this the many floors of buildings once you take a building you can find first floor second third fourth like that like that i have stages of experiments and developments in my uh, making ppts and developing teaching techniques but all these uh, floors are able to cope up or the stand up there on the ground floor and uh, foundation so that ground or foundation i can say they could get there in apex without that all these floors would fall like a pack of cards and frankly speaking and there i developed all my foundation skills then as a result i'm able to stand before you as a director of rks apex stuff english and here Uh, i would always remain indebted to my below director sri k nagshro sir jansi madam and my other faculty members especially lalita madam vani sister nagaraju and many more hari uh, kishore like that there are many so with all their support cooperation and collaboration then i developed my skills and of course i am able to stand before you so i find the first one unknown stranger who is as my master first second my father and next my below director sir and all these are i mean uh, direct gurus and of course the fourth one is nothing but technology has become indirect in the form of technology then uh, i i could constantly listen to the discourses of 
three great people and their wordings or their discourses have their own impact on me. I mean, Sri Chagand Kodishra Garu, Gari Kwadnar Simhara Garu and uh, Samayadu Shanmukshan Garu. So when uh, two or two and a half years ago, when we faced this pandemic, then I had to close my institute. And of course, uh, this institute, I mean, provides me the main uh, source of income, but I closed it. Then I was in dilemma, what to do next? And uh, those days when I was constantly listening to the discourses of Garikpan Hansmar sir. Then uh, when I came to know how he worked hard, and of course he also done one college and uh, that went into debts, he could sell his uh, land also. But how he worked hard and uh, became an inspirational speaker, when I listened to those words, they really it motivated me a lot. And uh, I started converting all these PPTs into videos. With the help of these PPTs and videos, now I'm able to run these uh, online classes. In a similar manner, now look at today, September 5th, Teacher's Day. In, in every teacher's life, it's a, I mean, we can say it's a second happy birthday. I mean, number of students, they wish them. And of course, sometimes even uh, very old students, they get into our mind. So today, uh, then uh, when I was working there in Vishakhapatnam nearly 15 years ago, so one or two students, they sent me messages. When I look back and uh, see those messages, I feel so happy. But one thing, today, September 5th, I am here in front of you talking and sharing all our uh, joyful moments. Then what about last year? So friends, once I look back how I was there in the last year, uh, last year, same September 5th, I was in uh, hospital. At the time, I got this uh, COVID first wave. And as a result, uh, I went to polyclinic uh, Pilamanini and there I, had, I was admitted to this uh, Ganavaram one clinic. So that time I could see how my family underwent, uh, I mean, a lot of mental agony. And this, I stayed for 10 days. For all those 10 days, every day, I, I mean, I listened to the discourses of Samavadu Sharmuk Samaji for almost two hours. So those words had their own impact on my mind. To tell you one or two, then he says uh, three words. Those three words inspired me a lot. He says, 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 He I mean, these words have their own impact on my mind. And if I see today, my father every day begins his day with the voice of, I mean, Sri Chagand Kodesh Rogar. There he switches on radio, exactly at 6 o'clock, then we find his uh, voice. And there uh, we get many beautiful insights. And there the other day, he said, I mean, Rose Alagite Manam Intini Urustamo, Alagi Bhakti and Chipirto, Manam Manslon Malian Kuda, Urchachu, and Chipparanta Kuda. So many wonderful insights just I could listen from the, listen to from these great speakers. Like this, friends, once I look back, all the four, the unknown stranger, my father, our below director, sir, and of course, these uh, great speakers like that. Friends, once you keenly watch all the four, you can find some common qualities like hardworking nature, discipline, dedication, honesty, kind-heartedness, and all. See, to reach higher positions, these qualities work like a ladder. Then once I look at our today's uh, beloved guest, Dr. Chetanya Garu, I could find these qualities in him. You take any successful person, you can find hardworking nature as the first one. Because of his hardworking nature only, there in uh, B-Tech, he could get distinction. And there in M-Tech, he completed his M-Tech from Sachibama University, Chennai. There he could get 90 plus. So there in M-Tech, getting 90 plus is not a joke. It needs constant hard work, dedication. And uh, he completed his PhD within a span of eight years. So, I mean, less than 40 getting PhD is not that much joke. So, once you look at that hardworking nature, and of course, 18 years of long standing experience there in one college. So, because of all these reasons, I feel uh, admired and uh, happy to see Dr. Chaitanya ji here. So, many a time I asked him to be the guest of our uh, session. Of course, he gave his uh, acceptance. Of the day has come today. I feel very happy to see Dr. Chaitanya here today along with us. So without making much delay, 
then i would request our uh, guest dr chaitanya to address our students and they